Hi, this is Marita Oslanek, founder of Immigration Biz, and in this video we're going to talk about checklists. What do you need if you're applying for E2 investor visa and what is the actual checklist for you? So, number one thing, um, I'm assuming that you already know the requirements for E2 and if you haven't uh, get familiar with them, you can check my other videos on E2 and let's jump in. So the number one thing you need to prove is that you have invested into your business. So you need um, corporate documents, you need to have your LLC or C Corp escort ready and you need to submit your corporate documents. So it can be um, it can be um, operating agreement, for example, meetings of minutes um, and other corporate documentation that you have received from uh, from the corporate attorney who established and uh, incorporated your company. Then you need to show uh, tax returns. If the business is already up and running, you have to show the most recent tax returns. And also you have to show the, res the tax returns if you are applying for extension, by the way. Then you have to show financial statements. Um, for example, annual report, um, profit and loss statements, and then you have to show property taxes. Um, then you have to show um, utility bills and other utility, any kind of utility bills and bills that you have um, stored during your investment. So any kind of receipts. Then you have to show also business plan business plan must have future projections, three to five years future projections. Um, then you have to show and document the wire transfer. So all the bank statements from the bank account in your home country, from where you send the money to the US. So it's going to be several bank accounts, the bank accounts in your home country and the bank accounts in the US. And if you have several bank accounts, you have to show all the statements from all these bank accounts. You have to document the wire transfer. So you have to make sure that you keep track of your wire transfer. If you send several wire transfers, that, then you have to document all the wire transfers. Um, now, if you, it really depends where the investment is coming from. Uh, you have to show the legal source of your investment. So it can be, can be loan agreement, for example, or it can be, um, any kind of source that is showing where is this investment coming from. For example, if you sold your property and you're going to, res you're going to use the money, uh, you have to show obviously the contract, purchase agreement uh, with the buyer and document the transaction, the entire transaction. Also, have you received the proceeds from the sale? Um, so you have to document every single step. Um, if you have purchased equipment for the business or or car for the business, anything that you have purchased, maybe you have purchased the real estate property for your business. If you have decided that you're not going to purchase, you're just going to rent, then you have to show that you have uh, you are leasing this space. So you have to show and document the leasing lease or commercial lease uh, contract. Um, it really depends if you have, if you bought the property, then you have to show the contract and you have to document uh, how you actually, how the transaction actually uh, happened. Um, once you have this checklist together, then you can apply for the visa. And as we mentioned before, you can apply either in your home country or you can apply in the US. Now, if you're applying in your home, home country, you have to fill DS-160 form. You also have to fill DS-156E form and you have to submit um, your picture. It's uh, 600 times 600 pixels with white background and obviously cover letter. Cover letter, you just sum up like what's the amount of investment, what is the business where you're investing, the mission statement, um, how you're actually meeting all the requirements. This is what you cover in your cover letter. And once you have the documentation in place, you are going to apply through this DS form or the DS-156E and you can do this online at the US Embassy. 
and then you can uh, email them or call them whether they prefer that you will submit uh, the documents in person or you can mail them because obviously it's going to be a pretty thick documentation so they need to first review the documentation and then they're gonna ask you to come for the interview so that's pretty much all that you have to do when you're applying for E2 and in my next video I'm going to talk about how to prepare for the interview and what kind of questions they will ask you at your interview so stay tuned and also I encourage you to download free ebook how to get investor visa to the US and I talk about all the checklists and all the forms that you need to fill out and all the process that you're going through when you're applying for E2 visa in this ebook so go ahead at immigrationbiz.com and download the free ebook. And as I said, stay tuned. The next video is about how to prepare for the interview. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.